Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. I hope everybody's doing okay. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Virgo, Sun and Rising. Yeah, guys, I didn't do April because I was going through it. This ascension has been quite uh, taxing on my health. Uh, in your present situation, you feel like you have to defend yourself in some way, shape, or form. Take whatever resonates, leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate, it's not to read, okay? Um, so I'm feeling that you're, you're in defensive mode. You're like, back off. Everybody back off. These energies are intense, guys, so... And your challenge is the fool. Your challenge is taking that next step without looking where you're going. Uh, just kind of trusting in the divine and not really caring how the situation, not, well, not caring, caring, but not putting a, a definite outcome on something just kind of just going with the flow that's your challenge you need to go with the flow okay in your distant past we had judge oh wow we had the lovers could be a Gemini this is your distant past. Now I can see why you're feeling defensive. Okay. Alright, what's your most recent past? It's the Nine of Pentacles. Being single. Being good with that. Being happy with being single. Okay. That's your most recent past. So apparently the lover situation didn't work out. The best possible outcome is the King of Pentacles. This is you, Virgo. You are the King of Pentacles. And that's your best possible outcome. Is to be the King of Pentacles. Somebody who's Steadfast, strong, wealthy. And somebody you can count on. And that's you. Okay? In your immediate future, we have... Oh, wow! We got the Twin Flame card. We got the Two of Cups. So in your immediate future, you may possibly be meeting somebody that is your one and only and forever. So whatever this situation it was and you became single, look what's coming in. You got new love coming in. And it could be your twin flame. Oh, wow, I jumped right out. Then we got the Page of Wands for factors affecting the situation. This is the Messenger. And the Page of Wands is, is fast moving energy. It's just a page, though. Nothing life altering. Okay? Take whatever resonates. I mean, and, to, and take it to whatever question you're asking. Because everybody's got a different question. 
So, whatever question you're asking, this is Spirit giving you advice to that question. That's how these cards are read. Okay. Outside influences is the Three of Cups. And because it's an outside influence, I see it as a third party situation. So, there may be someone else involved with your twin. If so, that's what the outside influences are as far as holding up the holding up the union. Okay. And your hopes and fears, we got the ace of swords. Which is the truth, clarity, a new beginning. All right. Final outcome. It's the two of pentacles. You got, you, this could mean one of two things. You're either juggling too many things on the wheel of karma, or you have to choose between two things and stop juggling. I'll clarify that. Be given to too many people. You're remembering someone, and someone's remembering you. Could be this lover. That could be your twin flame. But you decided to be single. Then we had two jump out. Oh, wow. This is a no action card. This is, this is not doing anything. This is just kind of sitting still and waiting for an answer from spirit, from your higher self. Okay, lots of twos on this board. And then you got the Ten of Swords. Which tells me that you are at the end of this energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, a ten always means, I mean, I, I know the card looks terrible and it feels terrible. But you are at the end of this energy. You don't have to deal with it anymore. Okay, because on the bottom of the, on your all around all the all-around energy here, you got your best possible outcome is the King of Pentacles, which is a great possible outcome. Best possible outcome. You're needing to have strength. Through all of this, you need to have strength. Hold true to your integrity. Set boundaries. And be strong, courageous, or it's a Leo. Okay, or you're dealing with a Leo. All right. All right. Now we go to the Ascension deck. I'm gonna do the Ascension deck this round because uh, we're going through the Ascension. Tomorrow's five five portal. And. If you're feeling this, don't feel alone. Schumann Residence is spiking. And it's kicking all our butts. Alright, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. First card is reality beyond appearances. Second card is spirit's advice. Third card is final outcome. Okay. We got two at once. So. You got works. And spirit's advice. You got the purifier. Which means that you are detoxing your life. That's a ten of swords. Detoxifying anything that does no longer serve you. That's Pele. Purifier. So this is the reality beyond appearances. You're cleaning house. Okay? Spiritual advice. 
is your works. Whatever it is you're creating or doing or being, uh, keep doing it. Because that is what's going to bring you your fruition. Your, your whatever wish that you're wishing. Keep it up. You see? That's a happy card. Let's see what the final outcome in, on this is. cards that just fell we only had one turn up and it's resurrection this is your final outcome guys the crone of resurrection so you are purifying working on yourself and being resurrected Nice, real nice. Let's see what the angels got to say. card from here. I pull three cards from the Romance Angels and two cards, well actually two cards and a crown from the Hidden Realms for advice. Okay? Ooh. And it popped out was the heart, heart chakra. Love is at the heart of the matter. Your heart is the, the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with your perfect perfection and guidance. And on the bottom of that, we have blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of an, a, a part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Okay. Like I said, whatever question you're asking, these are the answers. Or what possible answers. It's always up to you. Free will cannot be messed with. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's take a look into your love life here. There's one. You could possibly have a choice between two people. And it's safe for you to love stand in your own power because this is pay attention to the red flags signs are cautioning you so if it's a possible between two people because you had so many twos on the board um, the lovers and the twin flame card that usually never comes out together so one may possibly be an old lover and the other one isn't twin flame Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. But pay attention to the red flags on what your choice is. And then we got let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And Virgo, I know how hard that is for you. I have Virgo in my chart. Control issues are are definitely one of our faults. <laughs> well, I, I'm a Pisces, but I have Virgo in my chart. 
and it's actually my Rahu, which is uh, karma. Okay? On the bottom of that, we got unrequited love. There's not enough, not enough attach attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So there's your red flag. Okay? So you'll know which choice to make by the way it feels. If you get resistance and you get... Uh, always trust your gut. Always trust your gut. Okay, let's see what the mom's got to say. And in these cards, when they are upright, they are your ally. When they are in reverse, they are a challenger. cards in a little while uh, after I'm done with the read because it's not a big deal. They're all face down. Like I said, only one turn face up for you. Okay. Got the winged wise one. Angelic help. Miraculous aid. That's upright. I think that's a, a dual card. We got the word lord in reverse. I think that's an ally and a challenge so and then we got the spirit whisperer right side up and the horse king as a crown assistance control here we go with the control issue again this is angelic help miraculous aid this is communication praise and dishonesty we got that in reverse that's a challenge and we got the spirit whisperer which is divine guidance and higher knowing so, ouchie, it's sitting kind of awkward here. Um, let's go through these. The winged wise ones. This one says, always allies and never challengers. The winged wise ones represent the aid of all the angels. When you enter their, their realm, know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of the divine. This also represents divine intervention and the potential of miracles to heal and transform as if by magic. Have faith, whatever your circumstances. Heavenly beings are watching over you. The winged wise ones give you the glimpse of the future by offering messages whispered upon the wind. These are translated within you in the in, in, as inspired thought. Instantly unravel the past and revealing the present. Be aware of the higher consciousness in you. This is a good time to observe your thoughts through meditation. Who is, who is observing those thoughts? That self is kin to the winged wise ones who have come to help you soar. Yay. The word Lord in reverse. I don't think I've ever gotten that one in reverse. Maybe I have, I just don't remember. I pull a lot of cards. <laughs> okay. 118. As a challenger, the word Lord. When the Lord. Blah. Yeah, that was cool. 
Uh, when the word Lord appears as your challenger, he gently warns of untruths, deception, uh, denial, and unsupported thoughts and words in any area of your life. If you've been dishonest in any way, it's time to make amends. Change your tune, otherwise your impact on the world will not be as effective as you would like it. Even if you were to be successful as an immediate result, there would be a price to pay later. If others are being unsupportive towards you, know that, that it's them, not you. Don't take this world personally. Remember that you don't have to engage others when they project their own fears and negativity on you, onto you. Another message here is about how you speak about yourself. Do you say self-deprecating words? Do you minimize yourself so as not to intimidate others? Do you refer to yourself as less than beautiful? Time to change those unconscious sta statements right now. It's time. It's not difficult to change things as we are always given a choice to make new decisions. As long as you remain positive and supportive, the rest will quickly melt away until all you perceive is the highest good for all. All you need to need is a desire to change and be positive, and the word Lord will help you win the game of life. Yay. That was a 44, by the way. Anybody a 44? Um, 8. Pay attention to that message. Okay, and then we have the Spirit Whisperer upright. And that's another eight. Wow. Okay. Eight, eight. That's 88. Divine Guidance and Higher Knowing. As an ally, the Spirit Whisperer comes to you heralding the, the miraculous and the inspired. She whispers guidance from the divine through your higher senses so that you can hear her wisdom and, let her, and know her love for you. She is committed to helping you intuit the next right action and steers you away from trouble. The spirit whisperer keeps you inspired to move forward, always knowing just in time the correct next step. She guides you to fulfill your highest purpose, and when she appears, it's a sign of inspired, inspired ideas that, with continual action, lead to success. That's a very good omen. If your question is about a relationship, the Spirit Whisperer speaks of a soul connection, past lives, and great learning through mutual mirroring. She will whisper how long, how short, how deep, and how sweet the relationship can be. There were soul bargains made even before both of you were born here, and an exploration is in order. You may move forward, but keep listening to the spirit whisperer for the lessons that the vulnerability of love brings. Wow. And we got the horse king, which is assistance and control. Another eight. Guys, I'm telling you, you got eight, eight, eight. Great sign. Great sign. Spirit is pointing you to in the right direction. It's 116, so it's 6, 7, 8. I see everything in numbers. You'll have to forgive me. I've been studying a lot of numerology. Okay. The Horse King comes to lend you the power to go the distance, forging ahead with that whatever the weather. You will most certainly reach your perfect destination with this noble ally. He lets you know that some person or circumstances brought through synchronicity will certainly appear to help you with your endeavors. You are meant to go... You aren't meant to go this part of the journey alone. 
This is also important to delegate authority to others so that they may assist you. Currently, you're, mag you're magnetic to powerful people who are in a position to help make your dreams come true. The Horse King asks that you remain open to those who are sent to, you to aid you. You can be assured that you will be lifted up and will ride high in victory. Great ending to that read, Virgo. I hope you all enjoyed it. And this is for May. I will see you guys next month in June. Take care. Bye-bye.